Welcome. Right now we're gonna take a look at Shift Screen 4. One of the things that I had hoped, that many people had hoped with iPadOS 14 was that we got better second screen support, better monitor support, and the truth is we just did, did, didn't happen at all. So we're gonna take a look at some of the ways that Shift Screen helps enable better monitor support for you. Before we do that, a few ways you can support the channel, become a YouTube member below. You can do super thanks, stuff like that. You can head over to Skillshare, take one of my courses. You can go there directly with curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare. Buckle up, let's look at Shift Screen 4. All right, so here we are, Shift Screen 4, uh, and I have YouTube open right now. And uh, actually, this is one of the first issues. We'll start watching this video here. So one thing you'll notice is that I can go into, say, theater mode here, and it's big. Notice it's not playing off on my main screen, it's only playing on this small screen. So that's really not that useful, and that's actually why I have this extra browser open. Because if I select the second browser, it's okay and keeps working. So the reason this could be good is if I was to use Obsidian, put it in the corner, and you can see I still have a large uh, screen over here to work with, and then I have Obsidian where I could take notes on the side. Now, the Shift Screen developers say this is because of video sync issues. They can't keep the video in sync between the main monitor up here and the uh, iPad on this side. That's why they do it. Um, it's kind of eh, kind of annoying, to be honest. Um, now, another issue here, I don't know if you can see like how small Shift Screen appears here. And then up here, you can see uh, on the cursor right there, it's an up arrow saying, hey, your cursor is outside of the Shift Screen area. So this is better than previous versions of Shift Screen, which actually felt like the tracking was way too fast at this point. Now it's better, uh, and the tracking is easier to use. It doesn't feel too crazy to move around. I'm not sure if they have a custom like curve, tracking curve or something, but it really does make it easier to use um, when it's small like this. Now, the other thing you'll note is that you do have to have shift screen on the left side. That's just an iPad OS thing where this gets like a special view on the left side over here. And that's way it can actually control the full monitor. If I flipped these, then it wouldn't work. So now some of the other things you can do is if I touch this icon down here and you can see uh, sort of up in the top corner, because my mic's just a little bit in the way, that we have access to other things, right? I have access to a web browser, to a private web browser up here. I can do Google Meet, I can open up PDFs, there's a calculator built in even, it's a full floating calculator. So I can do whatever I want with it. I could, can I type into it as well? No, you can't, so you actually have to touch, that's unfortunate. I can't, can't actually just use it like that, that's unfortunate. Uh, Cause you can actually do minor math here uh, in this, right, if I did five times 525. So you can do minor math in um, Spotlight, but the calculator does not work. Come down here, touch this again, and we can do a few other things, right? There's calendar integration is coming, word integration is coming, reminders integration is coming. Um, we have some other Google stuff in here, right? Uh, what is it? All right, Excel is coming, Teams is coming. So there's a lot of stuff that's coming. Uh, video call or Zoom is coming. There are a few other controls you can do. You can see I can click on the browser here and I can click up in the top corners and I can actually change the sizing of things. Um, I don't know that I love how the sizing goes, just I don't think that it's actually, um, makes good use of the screen, right? So if I chose, uh, I guess the half, and then this is like a slide over pane third, when I come back into my desktop, which I don't even know how to get to, there you go, like that. You can't just click out of it. That's another kind of annoying thing, but I've got this gap in the middle. So what I actually really want is like, I want like a two thirds view or I don't even know, a one third view for this, but this should be entirely draggable as well. I'm gonna actually shrink this a little bit just so I have more space to maneuver here. These windows are draggable in theory. Uh, see this? Oh, there you go, got to the bottom corner. Now I can drag it out and I can see properly. Now I can actually start to make use of my big monitor. So overall, what do I think about shift screen? It shows promise, definitely shows promise. I think that there are good things about it for sure. Um, I have been using it in this setup a numerous times where I am like this. I'm watching a big YouTube video and I actually have made this window smaller because I don't need it that big. A little hard to control right now. I want it like that. 
and then I use, oh, see, a little hard to control. I go to this size. And I really just keep the other Safari window there so I can click on it and then get my actual large video up here. Video quality seems fine, but I don't use a lot of web apps. So I think if you are a, like, like to use web apps, then it can be really useful. Uh, I use it sometimes when I'm taking YouTube notes. That's, that's really about it. Otherwise, it shows promise. It shows that we can do stuff um, on a second monitor. It shows that iPadOS, like, oh, I wish it was more than just the black bars, but it's not. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Other ways to support the channel are to become a YouTube member below, or if they get videos early, or you can take one of my courses on Skillshare. You'll find links to all those below as well. I showed off Obsidian today, so that's one you may look at getting started with Obsidian. Have an awesome day.